rough science. Five scientists have been put on an island in the middle of the Mediterranean and using their collective nous have to solve another set of mind-bending challenges. High in the hills, an abandoned prison complex that's become their improvised science lab and brainstorming headquarters. You fell for my evil. <laughs> With just simple tools, some low-tech materials and the natural resources of the island, it's back to basics for our scientists. Last time, physicist Jonathan Hare built a radio out of an old saucepan. And with Mike Lee, he improvised a quadrant and pinpointed our latitude and longitude. And to keep those pesky insects at bay, plant expert Anna Newington found rosemary. Marine biologist Vanessa Griffiths tracked down some olives and chemist Mike Bullivant built a lab to manufacture our very own island insect repellent. <laughs> Look at that! So to this week's tasks, well, our team need to get their bearings, so they're going to try and build a compass. It would be a shame not to take any photos home of this beautiful island, but obviously we weren't allowed to bring any cameras, so they're going to have to try and make one. Tricky. Now, the Queen has a flag outside Buckingham Palace, so why can't we have one outside our abandoned prison? Well. I think we should, but one died with the natural ingredients of the island. And all of this in just three days. Can they do it? So, Jonathan, what are you going to do with this compass, do you think? I think we could probably make a compass from a needle. Yeah. You can sort of float a needle on water, a leaf or something, or a bit of cork. Um, so we've got to find a way of magnetising the needle. Um, Any ideas? If we had some electricity, we could wind a coil around it. I haven't seen a single PowerPoint since I've been here, so it's going to be an interesting one. We'll, we'll wait with we'll bated breath. We'll have to make a battery somehow. <laughs> OK. Get our brains together, make a battery. All right. To take a photograph, they'll need to improvise two key ingredients, a camera and a film. I don't know, we need something that's um, sensitive to light. Yeah, like something like silver iodide. Oh, and you can just sort of pluck that out of thin air. Can well, we're you? thinking of getting the iodine from seaweed. Wow. That's and I'm the alchemist, so I make silver from anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be seeing you later. <laughs> what about our flag and the wonderful colours? Well, in theory, we could use almost any plant to give us a colour of some sort. A lot will depend on the mordant that we use. That's the thing that will really make the colour adhere to the fibre. So it depends what the chemist perhaps can come, with, come up with for us. Right. So, Good. We'll have a look. Well, have okay. happy exploring and uh, good luck to you all. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks. <laughs> Vanessa, our marine biologist, is taking Mike Bullivant to harvest some seaweed, from which they hope to extract a form of iodine to make photographic paper. Well, we're going to have no problem finding enough seaweed here, Mike. Look at it, there's stacks of it. What's this brown stuff around here? All that brown stuff is a Mediterranean species, Cytosera. It's going to be great. They're just under the waterline, so I'll get in and hopefully we'll take the basket with us, that'll float, I and I can... Uh, Grab some, yeah? Yep, get your shoes off. Excellent. You want some kind of container that's say it's like a cup. Okay, yeah. So we're looking side on. Yeah. And we have two bits of metal. Yeah. And these are the two different. Back bits at the prison, there. Jonathan has come up with a novel idea for our compass. Right. And sodium chloride is salt, in fact, isn't it? Sodium chloride is salt. Yeah. It's got sodium and chlorine. Right. Use seawater to make a battery to magnetise our needle. I'll believe it when I see it. Basically, that's because of chemistry, happens. there's an attraction between the atoms in the liquid to the plates, and that separates a charge, and so now we have a battery. Jonathan, you're so brilliant. <laughs> OK, Mike, take us the basket. I'll go hunter-gathering. Brilliant. Am I a sea creature? Yeah, I think that there are people that have like an affinity for the sea. I've always liked the sea. I've been in and out of the sea ever since I was a tiny kid. I decided at a very, very early age that I wanted to be a marine biologist. Because seaweeds don't actually have a root system, they just get their, the water that they need for photosynthesis from the seawater. So they tend to accumulate all of the minerals that you find in seawater. One of the minerals that can be extracted is the iodine. Another task for Mike to gather fuel for our seawater battery. Oh, 
plan B. Yeah. But what we could have is have, if we have a container that's made of metal, fill it with seawater. Back at base, Jonathan's organising the other battery ingredients. Shall I go and see if I can find one while you look at look Yeah, we, might have found we found one earlier. Where is it? Do you know? Uh, it might take a bit of getting to, yeah. All right. But we can get it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Mike's perfect container is a little inaccessible at the bottom of an old water tank. Here we go. This looks ideal. What do you think? Oh, There's brilliant. The That's the problem. Is there? This is a big <laughs> what do you reckon, Jonathan? Ah, okay. oh, yeah, perfect. Needs cleaning up a bit. To finish it off are two electrodes. In theory, this zinc bolt and the carbon scavenged from a pencil will get that current flowing. I mean, it's going to contact there anyway, isn't it? I guess so, yeah. Well, we can try it, can't we? No, because you're weak it. We, I mean, we can try it like this. Prototype number one. That's it. You have to be pretty committed to magnetise a needle with a seawater battery, and Jonathan is possessed. Apparently, it'll need a few hundred turns on the coil to produce our magnetic field. It's mid-afternoon, time's running out, and they're still hedging their bets. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, that the current's going around the circuit. Yeah. And it's making a magnetic field in here. Right. Which is magnetising our needle in there. And hopefully. the needle's there. Yeah, it's very much experimental because we're not sure whether this will work. Don't we're lose, gonna try it. Don't out. lose faith now, Jonathan. Okay. Now okay. you've got some iron filings I here. Have. We'll leave it on for as long as possible. Here we are, the moment of truth. Oh, look. Oh, yes. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, I'm really chuffed. <laughs> it's wonderful. It is clever. It's brilliant. Later we can check the coil out just to see whether it really was yeah. or whether you've been rubbing it with your hands. Yeah, but we tried it earlier. We tried it. No, it really has genuinely, genuinely worked. I tried it. It didn't move a bloody thing. Oh, well, <laughs> blow you a pint. <laughs> I didn't think for one minute it would blow you away. <laughs> it's the end of day one, and Jonathan can barely control the power of his supercharged needle. <coughs> the tension is building. How much water do you reckon, Jonathan? Yeah, that's enough. Our super sensitive instrument gets an improvised windshield. Now, go on, Jonathan. Moment of truth. It's moving. Keep going. Wow! Very impressive. Wow! Will it keep on going? No. It's not north. That's north that way. That's north well, it's going saying the other it's north. Success! Well, a working north. compass and no more excuses for getting lost. We need it in the middle again. But still, no flag, no film, and no camera. Two action packed days ahead then. The rain has really freshened things up a lot, hasn't it? It's here in that stream that's unusual. Yes, isn't it? It's almost like being in Wales or somewhere. Yeah, I know. Could anybody who's ever been struck by lightning? I don't, actually. No, come to think of it. I've heard no, plenty no, of stories, but nobody that I know. I've heard of some cows locally that got hit by lightning. Cows? Yeah. Day two, and our plant expert Anna has dragged Mike Leahy off to go hunting for dye plants under strict instructions. No dull tones for our island flag. We want bright, eye-catching and rain-resistant colours by tomorrow. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mike the chemist and Vanessa are starting work extracting iodine salts from their seaweed. And Jonathan, who knows what he's up to? Oh, wow, look at that. This is the asphodel tuber. Look at that yellow pigment. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, this can be the yellow pocket. Then. Shall we put it in there? What about using your I'm hands? not about to say it's uh, wussy girly stuff, but I do prefer banging things and sawing things, yeah. Well, look, rose hips. Do you can you make a dye out of rose hips? Well, I don't actually know, but in theory, you can use any plant. Rose hips. Ow, sharp. 
rose hips. The only thing I know you can make, use for rose hips for is itching powder, so Mike Boulevant better be watching out tonight. <laughs> Believe it or not, these two really are trying to make a film for our camera, not knocking up an impromptu stir fry. This is actually the next step in producing the light sensitive compound silver iodide. Well, I presume it's because the seaweed takes out nutrients from the seawater. The process is to take the wet, sloppy seaweed, put it over a fire, and heat it until it's just ash. And then you grind it up uh, and dissolve it in water. It's getting really fine now, Mike. It is. Well, the finer, the better. And the soluble salts, of course, will dissolve in that water. Stay away. Take it care. Of course, you have to filter off the solid. Um, and you have to filter it three or four times through the, some muslin to get rid of all the small solid deposits that you don't want. So you end up the, through that process of filtration with a clear liquid, which you then have to reduce down to get the potassium iodide. Oh, it's looking so much better, all that black stuff. It's gone, yeah, it's brilliant. These fine. The leaves apparently contain a, a green dye. Seems a lot of hard work just to make a bloody flag, to be honest. <laughs> if it was food, hey, yep. <laughs> or if we were making wine, that would be a different story. But a flag? <laughs> Working with Anna's all fine and well, but we really are from opposite ends of the science spectrum and uh, completely opposite personalities. So are these acorns for another yucky brown dye? <laughs> or are you going to get colour out of these? Well, it'll probably be a beautiful pale tan oh. or a fawn colour. So brown then? Well, yes, but it depends. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> the next stage for the photography to get this potassium iodide solution to react with some silver jewellery to give us photosensitive silver iodide. They've decided to use electricity to power the reaction, a process called electrolysis. Dizzy with the success of their seawater battery, they're building a 10-cell ocean power plant to beef up the power and drive the reaction. And Jonathan wants proof that it's working, so he's built us a current meter. Amazing. So how are you doing back there? Can you manage that lot Fine. on your head? Yeah. You're doing very well, Mike. There you go. How very little that? training. But yeah, I must admit I'm cynical about the colours oh. we're going to get from it. I've Sorry, got look. to say, I'll be impressed if we do get something decent. Shrimp. Look at the size sets. of this cricket. Look, look, look. Look at what? Huge. There's an enormous cricket in there. It's about that long. What colour could that make? Oh, not any. So, is this, should we lower it in? Now this really had better work. It's already the afternoon of day two, the film's still a great idea waiting to happen, and we haven't even begun to think about the camera or the lens yet. It's quite Are all your scientific experiments like this, John? Dan? Not as good as this. <laughs> OK, so it's the metre moment of truth. OK. So I'm going to touch these wires together. Mm-hmm. Yes! Yeah. That was a definite kick. Definitely dancing. Thank goodness, all that pencil sharpening was worth it. All so does this mean we can get on with the electrolysis, then? We can get on with the electrolysis, but whether ten of these cells is going to be enough is another matter. We'll, we'll just have, have to try it. Let's try it. Try it. Yeah. Try it. Come on. Even so, don't and what about my flag? They're back with their spoils, they're still talking to each other, but will I get my vibrant <laughs> colours? Oh, How's it going? We're getting there. You're getting there, are you? My hands are a yucky brown. What? The buckets are yucky brown. Oh, look, you and your yucky brown. Have faith. It's going to so, be fine. So uh, I think the dye is going to be yucky brown Actually, somehow. I think we're going to have a lot of yellow. So, Mike, we've rather blindly been saying electrolysis, electrolysis, as if I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But um, what are we actually doing here? What we're trying to form is a photosensitive chemical called silver iodide. Mm -hmm. And you will wire these electrodes up to this... Up to this power source. This yeah. power source. Yeah. Right. I mean, the thing wouldn't happen naturally if I just right. stuck that in there. We it... need to drive electricity yeah. through it okay. to make it happen. All right. So we're going to use a graphite electrode, yeah. like in these, each of these cells, uh, but a silver electrode, uh, which used to be a bracelet, uh -huh. a silver bracelet. <laughs> so if we drop these in, like that, okay. then connect them up, we'll get the silver reacting with the iodide. 
Meanwhile, I was making my own small contribution to the flag. Things have got so uncivilised. And before you could just nip behind a bush when nature called, but now we've all got to do it in a bucket. Apparently it's something to do with the dyeing process. Let us see the things you do for science. You may not believe it, but if you want colour fast dyes, you need a mordant to soak your cloth in. Cue the urine, a traditional ingredient in the dyeing process. I think I really need to do this on my own. Right, you guys, as promised, <laughs> one bucket of uh, mordant, did you call it? I think and that's what I called it. Yeah. Nice clean washcloth, there you are. Now, Last what are you going to do cloth. with that and that? Well, if you want to put the bucket over the fire. I think that's your job. Come on, you're the tough <laughs> man. Oh, he's just dreaming. Whoa, stop being such a wimp. <laughs> it's Hannah's idea, anyway. <laughs> So what are you going to do? You have to heat this up with the cloth. I think so, yeah. And that will help the colour fix to the cloth. Is Apparently. That, is that the idea? Yeah, is that going to be too high? I don't know, but stick the cloth in, because I'm desperate just to see you. <laughs> Go for it, Mike. I was getting the distinct oh, impression nice that dyeing wasn't Mike's cup of tea. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, this oh that is looks on the lovely. You got a nice yellow. Gorgeous. Well, you carry on with your fur cones, dear, and yep. um, we shall see you later. Grand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see yellow. yellow. It is yellow. Yeah, we have it's success. working. Wow. It is working. There's not can a huge amount of it. So this, and I didn't believe it. Give it time. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was so impatient. Yeah. <laughs> this is the business end. This electrode, the silver so, electrode. It looks like one. it's getting all sort of gummed up. Is that? And it's disappearing. That, you'll notice it's dissolving. But this it. yellow is this the stuff that will sink eventually. That is the silver iodide. Yeah. That's fantastic. And so precious that's our. Sponge. The particles at the moment are not not heavy enough to sink, but they will right. sink to the bottom. So yeah. what do you reckon? Do we need to leave this overnight? Yeah. and come back to it yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. In that case, if we can leave this, can yeah. we go and help the others? Because they're stripping leaves and Mike's about to kill Anna <laughs> or the other way around. So I think we should go and defuse the situation. OK, we'll go let's go and help them. them. So what are you going to do with these? Just crush them all up? Hey, well, you can't. We've been we've been hitting them with a hammer, and, and not even you can crush them. We're well, not in a plastic bag. Yeah. How ground up do these have to be, Anna? The, sh the shells and everything. Not the shells. So day two draws to a happy close, and somehow we've got to turn all this lot into a load of dye, and our little glass pot with its electrodes in into a camera, and all by the end of tomorrow. And are we going to do it, guys? No way. Cool. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 If we work all night, you're saying. <laughs> An early start for Mike Leahy under strict instructions from Anna. Oh, enough wood for four fires just to make some dye. It'd cook food for about two weeks. Has it worked? It's worked. Of course it's worked. <laughs> How could I doubt you? Yellow solution, right? Yes, silver it's iodide. definitely yellow. If you look at that, what was a silver electrode, it's all pitted, corroded. Yeah. Right? And if you look in from above, you can actually see... Those yellow particles, globules that solid, you Solid about. particles, yeah. Now that's the silver iodide. What I'll do is swirl the, the contents of this to mix the, the solid up. In so the we liquid. don't have to filter out those yellow globules? No, no, no. no. There'll be enough in the solution to, to, for our purposes? I suspect so, yeah. Are we finally going to get our film? Okay. And this would be our photographic sheet, our oh. photosensitive sheet. This is now sensitive to light. So it's just a sheet of paper coated in silver iodide. And then we go and put that in the sun? Yeah. Right. Time for a little test with an old prison key. There's the key. There's our key. So what in theory is going to happen then? Well, the sun's rays will convert the exposed silver iodide to silver, which is dark. 
but underneath the key, the sun's rays can't get <coughs> underneath there, so it'll remain white. After a while, when we take the key off, what we should end up with is black surround and a white shape of a key. So effectively a photographic negative. That's exactly it, yeah. And Anna's got another little job for Mike. These little fires are just to simmer the pine cones, or bark, or flowers for an hour or so, and it's my job to keep an eye on them. While the light-sensitive paper sits in the sun and hopefully produces an image, Jonathan finally gets the camera underway. OK, we've got a, a mirror mounted on a jig here, which can go on the top of the box. And you can swivel it around. Any light from an image is going to hit that mirror and be diverted into the case of the box. And we can adjust this mirror so that we can look at different images. Then we have a mirror at the bottom and eventually this mirror at the bottom will show us what's on the screen. And the screen is the last bit to put in. And I put it on a movable little shelf here, so I can move it up and down. So hopefully what will happen is the image will come in, hit the mirror, go down into the box, be focused on the screen, and then the mirror at the bottom allows us to look at that image from below. But you can see the blue sky. How you doing, Mike? Hi, Mike. I'm getting there. These have been boiling for a couple of hours, so I think the pigment's beginning to come out. Yeah. Oh, what's this one? That's a nettle. I think it's probably one of the best ones so far. It's uh, green, so you'd expect. Okay. Well, on the face of it, it's green. That's a nice, yeah. Looks like the first, first act of Macbeth. <laughs> act one, scene one. <laughs> <laughs> the two mics have a plan, just in case our hard-won urine doesn't do the job. Two rather less pungent mordants, seawater and this extract of wood ash. So this looks a pretty mucky thing to put over cloth before you even start to dye it. Isn't it going to turn it grey? No, no, not at all. Ages ago, this is the way they used to make it. An hour or so later, the moment of truth for our photographic paper. Well, it's, it's gone dark. It has, yeah, it's gone dark. <laughs> the moment do of truth. Do you reckon? Do you think oh, we're wow. going to have an image? It's not very dark. Well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> no, look, you, well, you can, can see. see the key, yeah. And I'm pleased with that. You you're can pleased. see. You're pleased. Well, the electrolysis work, the process work, it the did. theory work. Yeah. But you must be so pretty proud of your seaweed. Oh, yeah, the seaweed has done its job well. Yeah, I'm pleased with yeah, it. When you think that has been made from seaweed and a silver bracelet? Not, Not bad, bad going, really. It's pretty good. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking for, Tom? Hello. I'm just looking for some um, bits of glass that I might be able to use as a lens. Can you find one without it? It'd be brilliant. This one's got a V on for Vanessa. Wow, that's a nice one. It's a clear one. I'll try that one. It's quite a lot with the Vs on. Yeah. Well, that's quite a nice one, yeah. Time to test the first of our dyes. And what is in this one? This one are vine leaves, yeah. and uh, these were the wild vines that we found growing in another part of the island. Shall I put the cloth in? They're using strips of cloth soaked in the three different mordants, urine, seawater and wood ash. This is changing the colour. Oh, look at that. Dramatic. I hope all the sceptics now will uh, <laughs> bite their tongues. <laughs> what about your one? Looks a little blackish, uh, this is going a bit dark. Well, I think you've won that one, uh, Mike. And it's extract of wood ash that wins the day. Out the dry. Yeah. There it goes. Can you see anything? Okay. Go out there and jump around. Where? And see, just, just in the sunshine. Yeah. A bit further. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you see me? Yeah, it's excellent. How many fingers? Uh, twenty-seven. <laughs> Did you really see? Where am I looking? Right, you just look down into the mirror and you can the see mirror. the image. In the mirror. All right, yeah. Jump around. Okay. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, yeah, I can see you. No, you walked out. You walked out. Come back. That's it. No, he's coming again. <laughs> oh, funny walks. <laughs> Superman. Yeah, it's excellent. It's amazing from a bottle top. Amazing. It's a bit unbelievable. It's like television, this, isn't it? <laughs> it is. This is better. It's the only entertainment we've got. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it outside. I'll take yeah. it on tour. Yeah. The shadows are getting longer, time is ticking away, and it's now or never for our photograph.
bloody hot in there. Like a sauna. I, t I tell you, you shouldn't put your head in bags like this. I'm just going to turn the mirror. It's quite nice looking. You see all the windows of the buildings of the prison. But I think probably the doorway is the best one. So we'll leave it there. You can see the doorway. The contrast is quite good. I've got your paper. Wow, the precious paper. This is yep. the same stuff that we use for the key. Yep. And we haven't got much it... of it, have we? No. Don't want to get it in the light. Okay, so, so I've put this bag over the Through your camera. cover. It's all set up with an image and everything. We've got a bag. Keep the light climbing out. Climbing in there. Yep, so climb in there. Okay. okay. You I'll hold on to the bottom. Okay, I'll it. take off the lid. Where do you want it? On top of the screen? On top of the screen where the image is, yeah. Oh, we can see it. We can just see the image, can't we? We can see it on top. Okay. Okay, okay. let's, let's leave it. Let's put the cover back down and leave it then. Yeah, have a web album for it. Yeah, great. Oh, it's like a sorcerer's den up here. I haven't seen you lot all day. What are you up to? This is rose hips, would you believe? Fantastic. In but which... I don't care, actually, no. okay. Anna, because okay. the sun is coming down. Yes. You've got a lot of tights hanging up. I don't know what oh. they're doing. Where's our flag? Well, it's coming. It's <laughs> ready. Just, just go time. away. Is it... oh, dying is a complex As long as it's process. not going to be loads of buff. Come back in half an hour. Oh, you wait. Come back half an hour. Sundown. I want it up in half an hour. Oh, and the other thing, I need a flagpole. Who's going to do that? Mike? Mike. Brilliant. OK, good. I want it up immediately. Can you see anything, Kate? I can. I can see the door. Yeah, the image is on the screen, yeah? It's brilliant. Has the paper changed colour? Is there any brown? It's kind of murky. Should yeah, we have a look so at it? Murky. Can I okay, it out? take it out. We looked at it about 20 minutes ago, but it, there wasn't anything on, was there? No, it was a bit... Um, there was some yellow on it, but it, well, there was no sort of brown colour. You know, like the brown colour with the key? Yeah. There was none of that yet. <laughs> it was not instamatic, is it, Jonathan? <laughs> What did you want to pony with? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we expect great, great things of Dr. Hare these days. <laughs> so. Wait. Uh, um, um, uh, try it, try it. Mm, no. So you can see the yellow here, you see. And that's the silver, silver oh, idol that hasn't gone were, brown yet. We were so taking we know the a photograph of the it. yellow, though, were we? Yeah, this is brown, this is brown. I think you're being over-optimistic. <laughs> I think so, <laughs> too. No, I no, really I do. Can... I'm going to break this to you gently. What? You failed to read the <laughs> photograph. You have, however. I know there's a photograph on there. <laughs> there's not. It's clear. Them, really it's however, very clear. you have made a very, very beautiful camera. Thanks a lot. You should be proud of yourself. Uh, well, it's a brilliant yeah, picture. Should we get I out of here? It's excellent. Okay. Oh, look, I'll just talk you through this. It's really a glorious cool. failure, but there's Can still I? the flag. Really Will I get my vibrant colours? <laughs> Go for it, Mike. What does it say? How would you describe those colours? Well, beige, yellow, and um, um, consider what we brown. started with. Brown. <laughs> I think it's a fine. I think you've done well. They made great yeah. hair picking their life. It used to, it used to be a nice view from up here. <laughs> now we've got that flag in the way. For a free booklet explaining the science behind some of the challenges and listings of other open university programmes, call us on 0870 900 7788. And to try some of the challenges for yourself, visit our website at www.open2.net forward slash science. Rough Science is back in the autumn on BBC Two.